Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. This video takes us to Australia, where we have a so pair of sovereign citizens who definitely think they are above the law, and, well, they actually don't know anything about the law either. I mean, both of them combined don't even sh share half a brain. And just to add a bit of American flavor to it, they do tend to use the American soft hard arguments, which they don't do very well at all. So at any rate, I ended up finding this video on a channel called The Nightcap, and I will leave a link in the description to the original video because his commentary is quite hilarious. So when you're done with this video, go over there and enjoy his version of the uh, video because, well, you won't regret it. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I want a supervisor to come here. I want my, my one from St Stephen to come here. From Canning Vale, I want him to come. Canning Vale. I want to speak to your... So these two Salvatars already want to speak to a supervisor. I don't know how many times that a supervisor has been called to the scene and where it has actually been in the Salvatars favor. It's as if these... Uh, Salvatars have the expectation that a uh, supervisor is some magical beast that will set these uh, ignorant cops on the straight and narrow. When in reality, uh, it is the Salvatars who are definitely in the wrong, and they're the ones that need to be straightened out. Oh, so, yeah. Officer Stephen. Yeah. He's very fair and very nice. And he always told me I'm not Look at this. Piece of shit. He is always said I'm never under arrest for anything. You can tell me I'm, I'm not trying try to arrest people for nothing. Look at him. Look at him. Big, no, big bad John. coming here on the way. What for? Because you're under arrest. No, because of a mobile phone. No, because of a mobile phone. She didn't even have in her hand. What are you talking about? You're You're under arrest for, for what? refuse details. That's ridiculous. So we don't nothing wrong. We don't have to give you anything. We don't have to. We can you refuse to speak to I? you whenever we want. Um, sorry, dude. Uh, no. Uh, just like in the United States, in Australia, uh, you have to identify yourself to the officers with at least your driver's license, and or at a traffic stop, because it is definitely the law there, and there are most certainly penalties for you if you don't do that. But hey, if you want to act like a moron and go the softard route, hey, that's none of my concern. But please carry on. Yes, we can. No, you can't. Do you think I don't have a really good lawyer? And just who is your lawyer? You? Because I can guarantee you, even in Australia, if you go pro se, then you're going to go down in flames just like every other softard that tries to represent themselves. If you're uh, driving a vehicle on the road, when you stopped, you're required nah. to address No, we're traveling. Well, yeah, you have the right to travel, but when you get behind the wheel of a car, that's a different story. Now you are driving. Now you are operating a motor vehicle, which uh, brings up all sorts of responsibilities. And, well, if you refuse to get licensed, insured, and everything like that, which are part of the responsibilities of driving, then uh, you might as well learn to travel on foot from uh, state to state, because that's what's going to end up happening. So, I'm going to get a couple other vehicles here, and we're gonna, about to drag you out of the vehicle. And then we'll drag you out of the vehicle as well. Well, we didn't know. Oh, why, 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 why are you dragging me? Why? Because you're sitting there helping this driver break the law and egging the whole thing on. So you are not exactly exempt from this dude. You're just as guilty as her. He he hindering, he hindering what? Uh, obstructing police in the execution of their duties. Oh, we yeah. With a shit f***ing duty. 
Well, dude, if you don't like the laws of Australia, then you can always go to America. Oh, wait, no, never mind. The laws are pretty much the same thing over here, so you're not going to get away with this in any other country. Oh, this young lady refuses to give her Hi, he's being really rude to us for no reason. And he opened my door and he grabbed my arm and he tried to um, take my keys and put my keys on the, tank, on the table and we got footage of it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, poor baby. And I've told I'll, him. I'll to done. Give he doesn't know he's f***ing oh. There's nothing wrong, but he's been quite violent with us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, gee, uh, where's your proof that they were this violent to you? I mean, you have the recording. Why didn't you show it? He doesn't know he's low. He grab my arm. And the Where your f***ing body camera better be on, Nick? And I don't have to do. I don't have to do anything. I've been doing anything wrong. We have the right when no, we're don't. traveling right, not to uh, provide uh, any ID. Sorry. Uh, yeah, you don't have to identify when you're traveling, but at this moment you are behind the wheel of a motor vehicle, which means that according to Australian law, you have to identify. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. But if you want to travel, you, uh, nobody's stopping you from getting out of that car and traveling your happy ass right to your destination. Is it your car? This is my car, yeah. Do you have your license for you? Oh, my license for you. It's a great way to come back from my f***ing clinic where I'm supposed to calm down. Back 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 Paranoid much? Dude, I mean, do you think that they're targeting you just because you got back from a psychiatric clinic recently? Uh, yeah, okay. Maybe she should be sent back there for further evaluation. Could you just turn, turn away? I don't want to talk to him. I'll talk yeah, to you. Off. I don't want to talk to you. I'll talk to you, but I want to talk to him. Okay. Time to go, please. Sorry, Sorry, can just, you just get this <laughs> My name's Good Citizen, I already told you that, so it says. Very rarely do I ever hear that phrase from American sovereign citizens. I mostly hear that from American frauditors. So they must be watching a mixture of frauditors and sovereign citizens to get this much of a script. Can you please just go away? I'll talk to this constable, not you. Go yeah. away, now. You're, an, away. you're an aggravating just go away. Some good cops out there, and you're not one of them. You're a piece of shit, man. On our no, trip. Uh, go, go and clip your gun or something. Do something stupid so I can get it on camera. Right. Something wrong, sir. And he's just been picking on us for no reason. Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass! Such a dumbass! You're an ass! What? And then he's called people to come over like. Okay, what the hell? Say, just bear with me. We'll, we'll work our way through it. All right. I just want to. Um, yeah, he reckons he's got camera footage. Show us. He wanted. He wanted to. Put, he my keys. I'm like, he threw them. And he was going. He grabbed my arm as well. And I put the window up, and he grabbed my arm. Well, maybe he did that to stop you from hindering the investigation, because if you were in the process of rolling your window up at this traffic stop, it usually doesn't end very well for the window. For a reason. And he wants yeah. to arrest me. Well, I didn't do anything wrong. I just had a drink in my hand. I drank my drink. And he said, I've got a phone. He's got his phone in his hand, not me. And, and I'm a ladder, I'm a I'm a passenger. Oh, now we should really take your word for it, considering that you've been acting like a uh, jackass this whole time. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. Let's go ahead and take that to court. Just give me a second. All right. He's a liar. There's nothing wrong, dude. Seriously. There's nothing wrong. Go and clip it. Go and clip your gun, bro. Alone. We've done nothing wrong. We were I'm taking the footage to um my County Road Police Department. Yeah. My I'm going out the door. Okay. Don't talk to us. Put the window down. I can't. No. I can't, that he's got the keys! He's got the keys! He unlocked it. Yes, you did, because you threw him! He's got the... He's got my keys! Oh, wait, 
Oh, you don't have them, so how do you unlock the door, dickhead? Yeah, so at this point, they've called in reinforcements because they're about to deal with these two soft hard morons. Because the Australian uh, police force really doesn't want to mess around with sovereign citizens anymore, especially after recent uh, historical events with that movement over there in their country. Hey, keep swearing, you're going to locked up for disorder. I don't right? give a fuck. It would be at this point when the greatest rage takes place with this sovereign citizen that ought to be hearing in my head the voice of a frauditor, maybe a Long Island auditor, something like that, saying to the officer, you need to de-escalate. But of course, it's always the frauditor that needs to de-escalate anyway, because he's the one that's antagonizing the officers to begin with, just like in this situation. No, he's a piece of shit. That officer. I don't give a He's not allowed to do that. Sorry? He's not allowed to do that. Well, he is actually, mate. No, he's not. Are you stupid or something? I know my, I know my fucking law, man. You know your fucking law, do you? Okay. Being a soft heart, 101, state always and frequently that I know the law inside and out when you actually don't. Big time. I've been doing this 30 years. Person, so I I do do 30 years? Are you yeah. caught up with the new laws? <laughs> <laughs> you serious? And everything? Laws, all the new laws, yeah, all that I stuff? Because laws, I mate. keep up with it, man. Yeah. I'm reliably informed that you may have obstructed that officer. So, with that in mind, I reasonably suspect yeah. you have. So I need Don't your care. details, buddy. If you refuse to provide me your details, you can be My name is Good that. Citizen. Sorry? Good Citizen. I need your details, so I need some identification, okay? No, I'm not. Don't even have a wallet. Don't even have a wallet. Don't even have a wallet. No worries. Okay, so Okay, let's wrap this up and go home and leave this poor guy alone because he forgot his wallet. Okay, enough is enough. Okay, I've already warned you. Okay. I you yeah, I, I, I don't care. You're filming this and this is great. Yeah, good. Your body camera is about to be on too, boy. I'll give you one more opportunity. If you do not provide your details, you will be arrested. Do you Okay, the officer is going to give the Sovtard, oh, excuse me, Mr. Good Citizen, one last chance to ident identify himself. Do you think he's going to take that chance, or uh, or is he just going to F around and find out? Let's find out ourselves. I understand that. Thank you. Thank you. I don't have any stuff in this car. It's just that my psych man. Don't arrest him. Please don't arrest him. Please don't arrest him. He's my friend! He's my friend! He's my friend! Don't do it, please! Don't do it, please! Please! Oh, please don't arrest him! Please don't arrest him! He's my friend! Oh, come on now! They gave him plenty of chances to uh, cooperate, and he decided to F play F around and find out. And guess what? He lost that little game, and he ended up in a shiny new pair of bracelets. So there's no reason to shed tears over it, but you will have to go over to the police station and attempt to bail him out later on, if you possibly can. At any rate, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.